Hi, good afternoon, Steve. This is Dylan with Alderman's Toyota in Rutland, where your satisfaction is our top priority. In front of us here, we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Toyota Highlander XSC all-wheel drive. And I want to jump into a few things to start off. And uh, mechanically, this vehicle is equipped with the all-new turbocharged four-cylinder displacement that puts out 265 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque. So this is an improvement of last year. Um, for those who do not know, the XSC stands for Executive Sport Edition. So it's going to be completely different than a typical Highlander um, with a lot more of um, sport re relative fascia and fairings and wheels. And to jump right off, right up front, you get the premium LED headlight. And this is a long white LED bar that goes across as your day running light. The grill is a full bodied mesh grill. And I love the, it still has the nice Toyota emblem that pops out from this. And this is more of a serrated honeycomb grill with the bottom having more of that serrated design that goes across the entire bumper. And then this nice silver accented uh, um, front splitter right there. And it's LED headlights and fog lights. And you see this kind of nice vent diffuser which breaks off nicely onto the bumper. It just really makes for a nice design. And then you'll see a kind of negative scoop in the hood. It has a lot of nice body lines on the vehicle. And then right up front, there's the safety sensor, which is in control of Toyota Safety Sense, which is going to be your pre-collision system, lane departure alert, and radar cruise control. Going right on the side, you'll see kind of more of this composite wheel well. And these are 20 inch alloy um, all season tires, um, but it's a 20 inch alloy wheel. Um, you see it has a nice profile on the road um, and it's definitely sporty looking. There's your mud guards. And then you'll see, it has this nice silver side skirt, which kind of makes this magnetic gray metallic pop, which is the exterior variant of this. When you open up the interior, this is a 25% tinted glass. There's a sunshade, makes it a little bit cooler on the inside. And then there's a couple materials used um, for all the door casings in here. Um, there's a so couple soft touch materials. Um, there's a couple cup holders down there and then the sport um the xse you get the soft seats right here and then the at, the at the touch points right here it's a little bit more softer so it's going to feel more of like a bucket seat the xsc you do get these captain's chairs which is nice because it has that negative space in the middle for the access of the third row to jump right in this seat is just about all the way back and Toyota did a really good job about sculpting the back of these seats to make sure that there's plenty of leg room. And then this is what it looks like if you are sitting in the driver's seat. Leather wrapped steering wheel, you get the 12.3 inch touchscreen with the XSC and specifically this one does have the JBL sound system which sounds really awesome. The big screen just makes for great visibility, um, easier to use, um, definitely easier um, to navigate through. And then again, right behind the wheel, you have your multi-information display. Um, and it's nice when this is accompanied right next to that because this is going to regulate your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto navigation, really anything that you're going to use. These have a blind spot monitoring system and they are full breakaway mirrors. And it is keyless entry. You can lock and unlock the car with the key in your pocket or just on you in matter. You got a couple um, different materials used, some silver contrast in the doors, which were really nice. And then here's the seats for the front. Some more of the, the, the front seats have more of this bolstering on the sides, which keeps you nice and planted in the seat. And they're very comfortable and you get a full power seat um, for the driver's side. Then you hop right in. Any push button start Toyota, it's foot on the brake. And then there's the push button start. And then you'll see the startup animation. And then you'll see there's your large screen. It's almost like a TV. <laughs> you'll see there's the sprocket right there, lane departure alert, pre-collision system, 
radar cruise control then the rest of the toyota safety sense suite um, that you can customize and make your own um, but we're going to leave it right on your digital speedometer and i want to show you a few things um, this is your radar cruise there's your lane departure alert right down here then how you can set the following distances on the side you have auto engine off there's your power lift gate and then automatic high beams and then right here you get triple climate control Here's your heated seats over here. This is how you navigate through the entire climate system. Turn on the third rail climate down here. A couple lightning port chargers, a USB, then your adapter. And also here is your wireless charger right there too. Right here, you have a sport mode or eco mode. You have a mud and sand in rock and dirt mode, which just makes this for a very versatile Vermont car. Um, if you're looking for great gas mileage, you want to go to Eco and then Sport. Um, you're going to be um, asking for more gas displacement there. And then here's your multi-terrain. So depending on which way you go, um, you can do this on demand. And then you'll see a couple other functions too that we can go over right there. Snow mode, downhill assist. Um, and then when you press this, shut it off. So you check your rear seat for that pet or child. Right here, we'll get a sharp angle of the car. Those black wheels, especially with that tint on the rear, um, makes for a really sporty design. The, ta the tail lights are LEDs. I like how it stretches across the side all the way onto the rear gate. Um, and these are really kind of really bright red. They're sporty looking and looks like there's a more of a smoke tint to them. And then same with the back glass right here. Getting a look at the back, you have this large rear diffuser with a dual exit port exhaust system, which sounds really nice. Can't hear the turbo whistle, and um, this engine does have a nice grumble to it too, especially when you're asking for a little bit more of acceleration. You press this button right under here. This is a height adjustable lift gate, and the third row is fold down completely flat. These seats do fold down flat along with this. Um, just makes for more of a versatile vehicle. And then what you do is you grab both of these in the 60-40 split variation. You pull it right up. And then you can pull it right back just like that. And you'll see how much this kind of, you can decline this, which is makes for more of a comfortable ride, especially for being in a third row seat. Then you fold that down completely flat like this. And then to shut it. You can press it on the fob or there's this button right here to lower it. Just like that. It's a really amazing looking vehicle. This trim really is stands out from the rest of them because um, it really gives you some special things. Um, and I wanted to thank you for your inquiry again. If you'd like to learn more about this vehicle, you may go onto YouTube and go in the comments section or you can come see it yourself at Alderman's Toyota in Rutland.